Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to graph our the speed of the paper airplanes that you threw and this is what you're going to be getting graded on. So here you see that I have our graph paper. We're going to start by setting it up. You always want to use a ruler when you're making your lines. So we're going to start by doing all of our lines. We need a space for a title so that we know what it is we're looking at that you grabbed. And then you're going to leave some, a little bit of space between the edge of the paper and the line that you're going to draw your numbers on. So that you can also write um, the title of your X and Y axis. So it depends on how big you write, but you want to leave yourself at least two full boxes. So the title I'm going to let you guys come up with, get a little bit closer so you can see. So we have our lines for our X and Y axis, and I have a line for the title. The title has to have something to do with speed. So I'm just going to write over here to remind you. So we have speed, and speed is equal to distance divided by time. And that's how we calculate our speed. And if you guys remember, we were measuring the distance and finding the time. Anytime you're graphing speed or anything that has to do with time, it's always over time, which means time is going to be our x-axis. So we're going to go down here and start with time. All right, so time, I just made up some numbers that are close to what you guys were working with, but not exactly. Um, and... We see here our time starts, our, our fastest was 1.2 seconds, and our slowest was 2.89 seconds. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to always start with zero, and you want to count all of the lines so that you spread out the numbers as much as possible. So when I count all of these lines down here, which is how many are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I want you to remember you always put your numbers on the lines and not in the middle of the boxes. So we're at 31, and because we have 2.89, that's really close to 3, we're going to make each one of these tally 0.1. So instead of writing a number on each one because it's going to get really crammed, I'm going to do every 5. So this would be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, 2. 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, and 3. Okay, so now this, so we remember what it is, and so other people reading know what it is, we are going to title it. So this is our time, and you always need to put what measurement is it, it's in, because we're not writing seconds after each one of these. So we're going to put that right there. Now we're going to work on our distance. So distance, you can see we have the smallest being 260 and our largest being 368. Last year, if you had Mrs. Amos, you learned that you could do a little skip mark um, and start with the smallest number and then graph, uh, use the numbers, the biggest number. So for this, because our smallest number, we're actually starting at a zero distance. That we have to include. So that means we have to start at zero over here and include the numbers all the way up to 368. Okay, we can't have that skip mark because zero is part of our plotting. So again, we're going to count how many lines we have and then determine um, by using a calculator and dividing how many, uh, what the point value for each line would equal. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
two sides and one plus two so here is my four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and thirty we want to see four and five and six and seven and thirty-eight. So we're at thirty-eight that we can get to. So what we're gonna do is divide. We need to get up to three hundred and sixty-eight. So 368 divided by 38 is 9.68. So we're going to need to round that. So we're going to make each one of the boxes worth 10. Okay, if we rounded it down and made them worth 9, we wouldn't be able to fit them all in. So each box is going to be worth 10. So again, I'm not going to put um, a number on every single line because then it gets too crowded. So we're going to do every five again. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 200, 350, and I'm going to put 360 and 370 just because we do get up to almost at 370. All right, so our numbers on the side again are by tens because we're right, at, we're just, we're just under the um, 400 inches total and we need to title our axis. So this is our distance. And again, you want to make sure you put your unit of measurement, which is in inches. So our speed is going to be inches per second. So how many inches per second did it go? The next thing we're going to do is looking at our data. We're ready to graph it, but we want to give a key. We're going to make a key, and we're going to put that key on here after we draw our lines, so that way our lines aren't going through our key. Um, but you want to make sure that the colors that you put down are going to be represented somewhere on the paper so we know what it is we're looking at. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and plot this. So we always start at zero because we are not moving and there is no distance. So we're starting at every one at zero, zero. My first line, I'm going to use my first color, which is this like teal color, and it moved. The final time was 2.89. So I'm going to look over here. So here's my 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8. And because it's 0.89, we're really, really close, just under the um, 2.9 mark. So we're going to be plotting it from here, but then go all the way up to 350. So 350, it might be easier to see the ruler. Let's zoom out a little bit. And it's going to be hard to see the numbers, but it'll be easier to see what I'm doing here. Let me zoom out. So here's my 350 right on that mark. Here's my 2.9 down here. Oops, I'm not really see where I'm pointing. But I'm going to follow that line up. All right, so right on this point here would be the 2.9. But remember, we want it just a little bit under. So we're going to go from here. And then take a marker for your color. And start at that point. Go right to the middle of the 0, 0. And draw... A line. So that is our first plot. All right. The next one is 1.2 seconds. I'm going to do this one in red. All right. So 1.2, and we're going up to 368. So here's our 1, 1.1, 1.2, and going up to 368. You can see over here, this is our 360, 370, so we're just below the 370. So again, I'm going to take my ruler and go across where the 370 is, and then follow my line up. 370, and we're not exactly on 370 because it's 368, so we're going to go just below that 370 mark. And again, start right here on the, on the dot. Line it up to zero, zero. Go straight down to the next. And there's my second line. I'm going to zoom in here. 
so you guys can just see a little bit better. Again, we need a title here that you guys are going to come up with on your own. I gave you the distance. You still need to calculate based on each class. It's going to be different, but you're going to calculate your distance, and you're going to calculate what time needs to go down here. Okay, so to find these numbers, you're going to take the larger number, which is going to be um, either your distance or time. All right, so remember the larger number here for all of my plots and distance was 368. And then my larger time for all the times was 289. So we're going to take that number and then divide by the number of lines of wherever it is you're plotting it. So the larger number divided by the number of lines. And then you need to round up, not round down. Okay? So that's how you're going to figure out how many, oops, turn back in. That's how you're going to figure out how you're going to make your marks for the time and the distance. The last thing that you need, after you have all of your lines plotted, I'm not going to do all of them for you, so you guys can do that on your own um, with your own times. You also need to make a key. So once all the lines are out here, I'm going to find a space on my um, table, on my graph that I would be able to write a little bit and make a key. So I'm going to do it right over here. So here we have the blue. And again, you guys have team names, but I'm just going to call it A. Then we have the red. You want to do this last, remember, so you're not putting your lines through any um, through your key. So you can still read your key and know where your lines go. The next ones that I would have done would have been purple, would have been team C, and then the last would have been a blue, and that would have been team D. Then you'll be able to read and determine which one was the fastest. So for speed, we're just going to use these two points here. For speed, we can see that this angle goes up quicker. It goes, goes up more. So it has a steeper slope. So when we're talking about speed, the steeper the slope is, the faster it is. So we can see here that team B of these two plots is actually the faster one. So this would be the winner. Don't put a star on it. I'm just pointing it out. This would be the winner for speed. The other one, though, was time. Time, we wanted to be the faster time. So for this, actually, because this ended faster, it landed quicker than here, it also has the faster time. So it is also the winner for Time. So uh, team B is the winner overall in distance and time. And if you look at the um, the numbers that we that I gave you, it landed the fastest by far. It was only 1.2 seconds. Well, this one was 1.5, but this was 1.2 seconds, and it also went the furthest. So it went the furthest, went the furthest in the fastest time, which would make it have the fastest. Not everybody's graph or not every class is going to have one winner for both. Some airplanes would have landed faster, so they would have had a faster time, but not gone as far, meaning that their speed may not have been, or their speed would have been faster, um, but they didn't go the further distance. I'm sorry, we're, the other one is distance, not speed, not time. So speed went the fastest, and then we're looking at comparing distances. So distance here, this one went 350, where this one went 300 and almost 70. So not that it went in time. Speed for the winner because of the slope, and distance was the other thing we were comparing, sorry. 
it also went the furthest because it's, it ended its line up a lot higher. Okay? So, sorry. Sorry for the confusion. Hopefully you guys get all that. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. Um, you will be getting rated on your graph. This is something you've been doing in math, so hopefully you guys can remember to transfer your knowledge into science.